Good morning, Greyhound Nation, or good afternoon, or good evening, whenever you're watching this. My name is Mr. Little, and this is week three of U.S. history lessons during the COVID-19 crisis, or pandemic, I should really say. Um, I'm recording this about 7.30 a.m. on Monday, March 30th, 2020. And this is going to be a summary of everything that's going on um, that's expected for you to do um, this week. So hold on, Greyhounds, and let's get started. First off, it is week three. And again, this is just, this Google Slides just has, it doesn't have all my history lessons on here. Um, that's saved online. But it has everything on there for what you're supposed to do for week one. So if you're still behind there, week two, hopefully you got all that stuff done. But again, if you don't, it's better late than never. And week three, which is what we're going to start right now. So the first thing is manifest destiny test correction. So first off, um, I'm still missing a few people that have taken this, but most people have in the class average is an 81% B, which is pretty good, especially for a long test and especially for being um, an open book test. It was a little bit tougher test, okay? Um, but it was open book, it was open note. You were allowed to use your flashcards, your notes, um, internet resources. Even you were even allowed to reach out to me, such as Natalie Reed did, Mira Gephardt did. I think Maddie Klaus even emailed me. Uh, Wes and Ross emailed me about questions about the test and that you're absolutely we're allowed to do that. We had so many 40 out of 40s, which is great news. Very excited about that. So those people that got a 40 out of 40, you have less work to do this week. If you got a 39 or below, you are um, to do mandatory test corrections for this test, okay? It's very simple. You know my test corrections. There's just a little bit of a twist because obviously it's online. You're going to open up a Google Doc. Make sure in that Google Doc it says your last name, manifest destiny test corrections, and then you have to write out the entire answer you got wrong or question you got wrong with the new answer. So again, write out the entire question you got wrong with the new answer. Um, and for everyone you get right, you get half credit back, which is great stuff for your test. Okay, this is that is due this Friday, April 3rd. Oh my gosh, we're getting into April this Wednesday. This is wild. Learning from your mistakes. That's why I like test corrections. It's important to do that. Okay, so that's number one that you need to do this week is test corrections. If you didn't get a 40 out of 40, you owe me test corrections, Greyhound. Next up, study chapter 14 flashcards on Quizlet. And you need to start this today, all right? There's a lot of really interesting vocab that we're going to be going over in Chapter 14. This is the last prequel chapter until the U.S. Civil War, okay, which is pretty exciting. So there's lots of big terms here. Um, suffrage is the right to vote. Abolitionists, these are people that um, did not like slavery, that worked to free people that were in um, slavery, um, get them up north, sometimes even into Canada. You're going to learn about the Underground Railroad, which is what the abolitionists used, um, enabled their freeing slaves, people um, from the south up into the northern states and even sometimes up into Canada as well. So lots of uh, vocab words that you need to look over. And I know this might look daunting, but go through it several times because this will help you with the next thing you're going to have to do for me um, uh, on the lessons regarding your U.S. History textbook, Chapter 14. Which brings us to U.S. History Textbook Chapter 14, Letter C, on your to-do list for the week of March 30th through April 3rd. You're going to need to read four, pages 418 to 439 in your U.S. History Textbook and complete um, the Google Form uh, form um, by, wow, really messed up here, by April 3rd, okay? And so this is the Google Form. There is, and I have it broken down into sections. So you have 418 to 439, section one, social reform. Then you scroll down here to section two, the abolitionists. And these are people who helped free the slaves and worked um, uh, for the Underground Railroad. And the last one, the women's movement. And my cat just walked across the screen there. The women's movement, pages 434 to 438. Okay. You want to say hi, Eva? No, nope. she's out of here. Okay. Bye, Eva. So section uh, one, two, and three, there is 22 questions that are going to be due this Friday. Okay, folks? So this Friday, you've got these questions due in a Google form. 
All right, next up is to watch the Hip Hughes YouTube video on the Underground Railroad and answer five questions on it on Google Classroom. So this has everything you need here. It's got the YouTube link. It's got the five questions or the five things everyone should know about the Underground Railroad. The Underground Railroad is actually not a railroad per se, okay? It was just a term that was used to describe it. All right. But there was an idea of getting people up from the south or from the south up to the north or uh, in the Canada into the free territory so that they were no longer enslaved by the abolitionists or people against slavery. All right. So you're going to watch the hip, hip history and it's what 13 minutes or so. It's not that long. Hey guys, welcome to Hip Hughes History. There he is, Mr. Hughes, and he does talk kind of quickly. You know, us history teachers, we have so much to say and get out uh, that we just kind of get a little crazy. So if you want to turn on the captions or you need to pause it and rewatch it um, to get those five things, you can absolutely do so. This is due by Fred Dizzle. So before we go on to anything else, let's review. You have got your Manifest Destiny test corrections, okay? If you got a 40 out of 40, you don't have to do this. But if you got a 39 or below, you owe me test corrections, all right? We need to learn from our mistakes. Number two, you need to study your Chapter 14 flashcards. And on Tuesday, tomorrow at 10 a.m., I am going to do a Google Hangouts, and we will do the Quizlet Live on Tuesday at 10 a.m. So you need to study those flashcards today. That way you're ready to rock and roll for tomorrow's online Google Hangouts lesson. Okay. Then you need to read chapters 14, pages 418 to 439 in your history textbook, and then complete the Google form here by Friday. And I'm going to show you what the page looks like. Do, 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 do. And here you are. My textbooks is a little different. It's the teacher edition. But you can see here is chapter 14, the age of reform. And there's those three sections that you're going to go over. Social reform, the abolitionists, and the women's movement. Okay? And this is a good chapter that kind of sets us up for the Civil War. These past two chapters, 13 and 14, really get us ready for chapter 15, 16, which is the Civil War. And I think you're really going to enjoy it, even though I'm not going to be able to teach you it in person, more than likely. Uh, I guess we'll get into that here in a second. All righty. Oh, I've got a, um, uh, a video conference coming up. Very exciting. All right. And then... We need to watch the Hip Hughes history on YouTube right here and write down the five things everybody should know about the Underground Railroad, all right? And a reminder on Google Classroom, all your classwork stuff. So I've got my video lessons. I'll post this one on there as well. Um, you also have your classwork, all right? So you got chapter 14, the textbook. Boom, do Friday. Underground Railroad video questions. I'm already two people in my second period have already done it. I posted this last night on Sunday, uh, March 29th, and people have already done it. That's great, okay? And you can also see other things on here that are posted past due. You can still turn in things late, better late than never. Like if you did not finish because there's eight people in second period that didn't finish their Warren Expansion video, you can still do that with the Crash Course History and Google Docs. All righty. So before we go any further um, on history, just real quick on my intervention kiddos, you're going to be reading chapters five and six of the time machine. There's the audio book version. If you need to, if you'd like to listen to it instead of read, complete your AR log and I will have a new reading passage. It's not the coronavirus that was last week. So I didn't update that. Um, this one has to do um, with um, sports and uh, that will be posted um, by the time this video is posted. And you also have study island math to continue. Now, I kind of want to talk about some current events. So slip, slip over to CNN and Fox. So CNN um, is talking about what President Trump, and so is Fox, what President Trump said last um, evening, uh, which is Sunday, March 29th. Um, and this is some big stuff. So let's first talk about where President Trump was at. He's in the Rose Garden, okay? This is the Rose Garden. This is the White House. 
this is the west wing you can't see it it's off kind of camera and then in between the west wing and the white house is colonnade here um you can see president trump walking away but this is where um, this is the rose garden and obviously it's there's the roses haven't budded yet but you can see all the um, beautiful um, trees blooming around it there's a japanese cherry blossom tree i forget what these are called they're not cherry blossoms not these particular ones and um, right here is where he's been addressing the nation in the rose garden the past couple times um, that he's addressed the nation about the coronavirus or COVID 19. and what you can see here is um in, in this area he's been he talks to everybody and then this is where his press conferences take place so what has he been talking about mr little in these press conferences well mr trump um has told us um that more than likely um we are going to be um not more than likely he is asking the nation to remain um still social distancing for um, through april 30th so if you look at my calendar here we're right here on monday okay um if we look down um here this is where he wants us to continue our social distancing so what does that mean for you and me well we're not a hundred it's it's probably going to mean the same thing what we've been doing okay so we um really are in the last week Oh, uh, no, uh, through April 6 is what DeWine has pretty much told us we have to do continue social distancing in Ohio. But more than likely, based on the new federal guidelines from President Trump, we will probably not go back to school. And again, I'm putting one and one, and one together, getting two here, that more than likely, um, you hear heard it from me here first, I don't think we're going to be going back to school in April, um, mainly due to the new federal guidelines laid out by President Trump here on Fox and CNN on uh, yesterday in the beautiful Rose Garden here. Okay. Here, I'll show you some more pictures of the Rose Garden. Um, that's, and this is kind of what it looks like now. You can see how beautiful it looks. Open image, a new tab. So that's what it looks like right now with the tulips coming up. It's perfectly manicured and you can see the um, White House and the colonnade here. And this is where President Trump's been addressing the nation. This is also where the Easter egg hunt is typically held, which has been canceled at the White House the first time in a long time that it's, uh, that's happened. So again, that is um, the, uh, the Rose Garden. Oh, there's Trump again. And, and many presidents have used the Rose Garden um, as a press conference. And that's why I was on this page right here. This is the White House press conference room, okay? This is where um, the entire media comes in, CNN, Fox, everybody, ABC, and they ask the president questions, okay? Um, and you can see here, these are the people we've been seeing a lot of, okay? The head doctor of the, um, uh, of the nation, um, Mr. Pence, the vice president, who's in charge of the COVID-19 uh, recovery. Um, and you have here, this gentleman right here, um, he is the Surgeon General for the United States, okay? So these people have been addressing the uh, nation a lot lately. Um, the press conference room does not look full um, anymore like it does in this picture, all right? It looks very vacant because they're trying to keep it under eight people, which means not all the press can come and so they can only ask so many questions, so. Um, anyway, there's your crash course on current events of what's happening right now for us at week three, guys, um, on March 30th. So Greyhounds, again, one more time going through everything. You've got Manifest Destiny Test Corrections. If you didn't get a 40 out of 40, you've got the Study Chapter 14 flashcards. And tomorrow I will be live on Google Hangouts at 10 a.m. And then we'll do Quizlet Live as well. Read chapter 14 in your textbook. Make sure you do your questions. There's 22 of them, okay? And last but not least, watch the Hip Hughes history video and answer the five things everyone should know about the Underground Railroad. Greyhounds, you've been amazing. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to email me and reach out and I'll get right back to you. I hope you're having a great time. Stay safe. Keep washing your hands. Keep helping out around the house. Uh, be great, Greyhounds. I know you're amazing people. Continue to do that. And I will talk to you guys soon. This is Mr. Little signing off for week three um, of your summary. I will see you guys tomorrow, Tuesday, March 31st at 10 a.m., on Google Hangouts. See you then. Greyhounds, have a great one and be Greyhound great.